Go. Do you want to hear some trivia? No. Well, even if you don't, we aren't going to let it go until we tell you these 13 things about Frozen. Number 13. When the gates open during For the First Time in Forever, there is a cameo of Rapunzel and Eugene from Tangled. Rapunzel has short brown hair and is wearing a purple and pink dress, and Eugene is wearing a maroon vest and a brownish sash. They are entering the screen from the left. Number 12. Adina Menzel auditioned for the part of Rapunzel in Disney's previous fairy tale, Tangled. Even though Menzel didn't get that part, a Disney casting director recorded her audition, and two years later, it got her the part of Elsa. Number 11. The characters of Hans, Kristoff, Anna, and Sven are a reference to Hans Christian Andersen, the author of The Snow Queen, which is the inspiration for Frozen. Say the names quickly in sequence to hear the similarity. Number 10. During Olaf's song, his dance with four seagulls is a nod to Bert's dance with four penguins from another Disney movie, Mary Poppins. Number 9. Hidden Mickey. There is a plush Mickey Mouse on one of the shelves in Wandering Oaken's Trading Post and Sauna. Number 8. According to actor Josh Gad, a handful of Olaf's dialogue in the film was improvised to make the producers laugh. Number 7. While Arendelle is covered in snow, two townsmen are seen arguing over the correct way to stack firewood, bark up or bark down. This refers to a heated debate in Norway that was sparked in 2013 after a 12-hour TV program on firewood aired. It included eight hours of a live fireplace, and the network received dozens of texts complaining about how the firewood was stacked. The complaints were split evenly between people who were upset about bark facing up and those who were complaining about bark facing down. Number six, in a magazine interview, Adina Menzel claimed her young son boasted to his classmate that his mom sings the songs in Frozen. To this, another child replied, so does everyone else's. Number five, in early designs, the giant snow monster that Elsa creates was a giant version of Olaf, who addressed him as little brother. But it was later decided that although it was cute and kind of funny, it ultimately looked a bit dumb. Number four, the production crew went to Norway on a two-week-long trip before production began, and the movie was largely informed by that trip. The landscape, clothes, music, buildings, and names resemble those of Norwegian culture. Number three, the horses featured in the film are all Norwegian fjord horses. They are one of the oldest breeds and have been used in Norway for hundreds of years, and as the film shows, are known for their distinct dark stripe that runs through the center of the mane. Manes are typically cut to a mohawk-like crescent shape to emphasize this feature and the breed's neck. Number two, this film took 600 people 2.5 years or 3 million hours to complete. Number one. During early development of the film, Elsa was meant to be the villain and her design was inspired by Bette Midler. And that is the 13 things that you probably didn't know about Disney's Frozen. <laughs> 